<laughs> yeah. Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome back to Neil and Jan Resellers. Uh, welcome um, if it's the first time here. Yeah, and just for the record, it is Saturday 27th of May. So, it's bank holiday weekend, so we're just on the first of three days of yes. bank sales. We've got two more to go. So that was Billy's so at if Faygate. So you enjoy our content, there's two more on the way. Two more on the way. So we've just been to Faygate. Um, and yeah, it was a, a nice little morning. Um, really packed when we first yeah, arrived, wasn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, and the queue to get in went right down to the other yeah. to the end of the car parking field you know yeah so. really bit well, it's a lovely day out there really lovely day so um i personally didn't pick up much i'm but having to say oh, yeah i didn't ha wasn't well, you're not broke you just spent all your money on stock last I, weekend haven't you i spent a lot last weekend um but i've now got so much stock of that that i need new racking uh for the storage um to be able to put more stuff in there so i've actually got to save up this week um for more racking instead of actually buying stock and i've actually got stock upstairs that i can't photograph and bag and get ready in for storage because i'm going to anywhere to put it until i get the more racking so i decided I to have a you're very my china cabinets full. <laughs> i know <laughs> all right if you can see it in shot Jan's china cabinet is full. Uh, we need another <laughs> china still keep buying. we still need another china cabinet so uh but anyway so uh, i've got only a few bits but Jan had a great morning i feel yeah i haven't um, got a lot but they're nice pieces yeah my first pick up this morning was a set of set 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 of stacking mugs they're sainsbury's ones oh, they're not, i was and gonna say are they marks and no they're sainsbury's, sainsbury's. they're okay. like a purpley flower with butterflies on they're really pretty yeah and i paid two pounds for those and i was just checking down them to see they're all perfect no chips or they're anything all they're all good but one is i don't know if you can see in there a little bit grim a little bit because grim. the light's coming that way isn't it but that's all right because i always wash yeah. everything up before i sell it so yeah of course and well, i paid two pounds for them you paid two pounds well i'm going to jump straight in with um with my first purchase now i'm really this is going to sound odd but uh, a couple of guys uh, uh they're um they're um um subscribers to the channel um hi. hi um and um normally i very rarely get to buy anything from them because it's not very rarely do they have a lot of clothing and it's not so well but this morning they had something that you wanted this is a lee cooper shirt yeah is that i can smell it kind of halfway between storage and um fabric softener smell yeah so it's a Lee, it's, it's a Lee Cooper, um, which is nice. Uh, that will that will fit nicely within in my shop. Um, so uh, so yes, I picked that up and uh, I bought that for a pound. Um, should be able to make a nice little bit of profit. Uh, but it was really nice. I do like to buy stuff from them when they've got something that that I can sell. Um, hello, the subscribers. Good morning. Right, my second purchase, and um, bear in mind, I don't wake up before I go to a boot sale. It normally happens about half an hour after I've arrived. <laughs> and I saw this little teapot, and I have been selling little teapots lately. Thank you. Um, it's quite a sweet one. It's a Choice Tetley Tea. It's a advertising one. Yep. But it wasn't until later I realised it was one of those that's a teapot on the top and a cup on the bottom, and it's only the pot What's but the teapot itself that, in, that was probably where the cup was glued onto it oh right you know when so it's in a box or whatever so it's a little bit of glue is it or yeah something? so yeah, it's a bit, a bit of glue gone, gone and that would be gone chip. all right cool yeah because it doesn't look as though it's ever been used it's uh but it's still absolutely a, pristine it might have had a cup underneath but you know it'll still a very usable little teapot well i was just thinking you know those big white ikea cups that we've got perhaps we could <laughs> he loves those big white eye kicks. <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> no. They're so... one each. No. <laughs> I could sell mine. No. But anyway, I thought, well, it might sell anyone anyway. Somebody has bought it and dropped their teapot and still got the cup. You never know. Yeah. And if not, 
Well, the teapot itself is perfectly fine. I paid a pound for that. A pound? Excellent. <laughs> Obviously too much, because half it's missing. <laughs> Well, Look, I'm old. <laughs> Things like that happen to me. Uh, I might as well do my last item. And then we can cruise on into your... Uh... Oh, if, if you... Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I've got to do this. Um, so the other bit was... Um, the other thing I picked up is this... Hollister hoodie. And it's... Um, yeah, it, I like that it's it's kind of graphic all the way around. So you know, it, it's not just one color, and then but it's got like a graphic-y kind of thing all around. Um, I say it's a hoodie. Picked that up for two pounds. Uh, now I've just sold a Hollister top uh, in the week for twelve pounds. So um, so yeah, I think that will. Uh, well, I paid two pounds for that. I should be able to probably sell that for about twelve pounds again, and uh, um, get ten pound profit. Can I? Mm -hmm. I know there's eBay fees on top, but you know. Yeah. But yeah, so that you was done. that was me done. Um, but however, I'd also just like to say this morning I also sold a pair of um, tracksuit. Um, it, it was a, oh, it, it was some jeggings. I sold yeah. some je sold some jeggings for six pounds ninety nine. Yeah. So that's six pounds ninety nine. We'll have paid for those two items, which mm -hmm. I should get twenty quid for. That's the way. So to do it. that's the way we build our eBay stores. It is. Yeah. Unfortunately, I still buy an awful lot of stuff to keep, so not you everything do. that you see is going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> This being a case in point of pointing, oh, I don't even know what I'm talking about this morning. It's an Ikea glass um, storage thing that has a plastic lid. Now, we bought two of these last year from Ikea. Yeah. And they were, I picked them up, one was inside the other. Yeah. Paid for them both, still stacked together, got them home. And as we separated them, the bottom one had a great crack. Yes. Got it, we actually, we heard this great yes. cracking sound, didn't we? And we took it back to Ikea and they refunded it. But we couldn't be bothered to walk all around Ikea to get the replacement, get the replacement one. one. So I have two lids and only one of these. And so I've got two of these and two lids. Excellent. So I paid a pound for that. Pound. Yes. And I've taken cool. some pound coins that Neil picked up for me from the bank. And they were not in a coin bag. They were in a like a sealed bag, weren't they? Yeah. And I couldn't open the bag. So I'd, <laughs> I felt pathetic. I had to say, excuse me, can you open my money for me? I've got to that age now <laughs> <laughs> Can you just take yeah, the money that I owe you out of <laughs> Oh god, that is old, isn't it? Oh, but anyway, dear. pound for that, so that that's was good. good. That's good. Can you move that one over? I can. I'll move that back to there. Um, oh, I'm leaving coffee marks. Yeah, I don't want wet on the bottom of this right. box. This is a box of Leonardo Collection Claude Monet mugs doesn't look as though they've ever been nice. out of the box it looks like a present that's never been wanted doesn't yeah be and they're just like been used when they paintings on nice. the bottom so that's the oh they should go really well um and they come like that and i paid four pounds for it's that a brilliant um they're typically selling for around about 10 pounds on ebay um somebody has sold one for i think 12.99 that won't stop me putting it out for 18. no <laughs> list it high and let it sit there for a while that's what i do so that's four pounds for oh. those nice what you got more cups? Uh, yeah, no, nothing compared to last week. No, but, but uh, got a set. The lady had five of these, but she couldn't find the fifth one, so I've only got four of these. These are Bone China, Oaks Cabin, Staffordshire. Four of them because they're a set of four. That'll always yeah be an easier sale. So, and I paid one pound fifty for the four. Then a single, pretty, I'm assuming it's bone china again. 
dishwasher and microphone yeah fine bone china I didn't... but it's that again it's it's that kind of half and half between what i would call fine bone china um, and clunky heavier, mug. it's yeah. not a clunky it's lightweight but in it's between not as it's not like see-through bone china yeah although saying it's not it, it actually is if you oh, look because that's a very bright yeah. light you, you can just about, about see, see. Yeah. yeah you can see my fingers through it there yeah, yeah. you see yeah so yeah that one is see-through but anyway pretty little mug paid 50 i must confess i forgot to put my glasses on <laughs> oh my nightmare <laughs> and i've got these bits and i thought do you know what i'm half the width filled through and haven't seen any ladro yet at all that's appalling you'd see some you'd ladro you'd see some something wouldn't you, wouldn't you? And then um, the lady that had these spotty mugs also had this piece. This is actual Yadra. Yeah, it's got the blue maker's mark on the bottom. And I would be very, very no nervous usually of picking up something like this because of the candle, which could easily snap off on the way home. Yeah. But this one actually came with its own genuine in, in box. Its proper box which is unusual exactly and i said how much would you like for that and she said five so i was nice. helpless to resist so five pounds on i'm just putting it in there in case the dog knocks the table Absolutely. and the whole lot goes although i think you put her out in the hallway have, now haven't yes. you just before we started filming she was just she was so happy she was under the table whacking her tail and, and, she and knocking just the camera all over the knocking place knocking the camera all it was over stressing the place. you out it was stressing it? me like anything I, and all you could hear was her tail going bang 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 on the table and it was just like no i can't have that i'm sorry <laughs> it's too much stress i'm suffering with a lot of stress <laughs> you are aren't you anyway then i found another piece of outro with the blue marking nice and ducks. it's uh duck and ducklings and I really loved it and I thought oh that's really pretty but the lady wanted £10 and I thought oh £10 it's just quite a small piece mm. and then she said well nine and I thought no I'm gonna play the walk away game I'll walk away and then if she's still got it when we go back then <laughs> but the problem was I didn't go back for it luckily Neil had stood behind me when I first saw it, it yeah. so I knew exactly what I meant but but by the time I got the buyer's regret of not buying it yeah. and said actually can you take this and just go and get it it's like well where's the store and it's up the field <laughs> it's, it's in the, over there it's in the sand <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah what Neil's saying there is there used to be an advert in this in the UK of um Kevin and his dad on the beach and dad saying to Kevin where's the car Kevin and Kevin yeah. he's got his bucket in spade and he's saying it's in the sand <laughs> <laughs> and so in this house anytime we lose anything it's, it's in, in the, the sand, sand. <laughs> so anyway Neil did actually go back he found the right piece I'm very very happy with that because I don't know it just it's just really appealing I don't know if you can see it sort of close up but yeah I love that and then just a couple of tables down there's a lady that we know that yep. I see quite often I've got a feeling she lives in locally actually I think she's she Probably also does. lives on yeah. the same state that we do and she had two harlequins on her on her table these are Neo and there's the the one with the loot like that and can't see it so much on this one but the other oh that one's got loot on the back and the a back, book yeah. in the front yeah and this one's got the loot to the side but i don't know if you can see those fingers on it you know that's where you would normally find the damage if yeah but uh, I did say, if you're watching today, I did say I'd let you know if they got home safely and they got home they perfectly got, yeah, all right. So yes. thank you very, very much. And so that's an, another two for my collection there. Two really Harlequins. Two Harlequins. I think that those Harlequins are really nice. I like those ones. I do. And I've not seen um, 
this kind of pale mustardy colour in the um, in the nail. No. Um, but it is very paintwork on it, any of the others. It's so. very pastel, isn't it? Like the a lot of the other colours, it's very pastel colours. Well, I always so. talk about the muted colours of Yadro. Right. Muted. That's just how I describe it. If I'm ever listing anything, especially if it's not genuine like Yadro, if I'm right. selling uh, Miguel Requinez, for instance, then I would say it's in the Valencia style in the same muted... I would say it's the same muted colours as Ladro and in the Valencia style. Right, muted. I might need to look at that. But for me, I, from, I guess, my experience at school with colours and things like that, reminds me of, of the pastel kind of... Yeah, um, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. It is pastel, it is, but I'm just talking about the, the language that I would choose to Yeah, use. absolutely. And sometimes when you're selling pieces like this, it is all about the wording rather than just... Oh, I mean, absolutely. obviously you do the pictures, but it's almost impossible to get really, really good pictures. You've got to do it almost um, in the dark. You can't yeah. put lights on them because the reflection is so... So bad. So it, much glare on It destroys on them. the colouring, doesn't it? So, so it's... Yeah. And if you just do it in... Like this time of day with the sun coming in through yeah. the window, where you can see how much shine is on there now. You'd have to wait until the evening yeah. when well, there's just enough to take the our photo. Our room was actually quite dark um, uh, today, and I've actually decided to put up there is a... Um, uh, An artificial a sun. <laughs> An artificial blinded. sun, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a bigger LED light that, that, ha that you can change the colouring on and, and stuff like that, but it's... Uh, um, it's a nice powerful light because it was a bit if it's nice and sunny outside but you know when it's really sunny outside and it feels dark inside it's one of those days yeah so I don't know if you can if that's actually in picture I haven't got my glasses on so I can't see what you can see um, but I'm just trying to yeah there's what they are in, in so, picture four nice new pieces but as I say no no space to put them so yeah trip to Ikea <laughs> Well, I don't know. I still think, you know, because they're about £80, those cabinets. Yeah. And we got that one. Actually, that was on Marketplace. It was free. Yeah. So it was only, only cost us our petrol to go and get it. So if I can find one locally, because yeah. by the time we go to Ikea, it's, you know, half a tank. Well, not half a tank, but no, you know, at it least it, 10 quid worth of petrol. To get some. It's uh, at least £5 on the bridge. But if you don't find one quickly, they're going to start... Could they get damaged because they're not put away properly? No, what I will do is I'll go through the cabinet and pick out some other pieces that that I don't like as much. Okay. So the other pieces can then come out and go in another cupboard. And, Sounds like a plan. And I'm, I'm starting to get duplicates as well, so any yeah. of the duplicates might get listed. Yeah. But we had a friend over for lunch during the week and um, I was saying to her that what they don't tell you about getting older, because we were talking about women's problems and things, is when you get to a certain age, and nobody will warn you about this, you start collecting ornaments. <laughs> and she was horrified, bless her, she's only, she's only just turned 40. <laughs> and I said, one day you'll be dusting your china, your china cabinet and thinking, Jan, warn me about this. <laughs> And it comes up all of a sudden and you don't mean to do it and you're not even sure you want to do it. But it's just like a compulsion. I mean, my mum started collecting crinoline ladies and mum and dad got the china plates of um, war planes and things, yeah. didn't they? And, and all the bloody wedge wood, you know. You can't help it. It just happens. <sighs> However... So if you see a decent china cabinet and you're in your late 50s, get it. <laughs> However, I'm trying to I'm trying I'm trying to hold out for for collecting some really cool stuff. I've no idea what it'll be. <laughs> Your idea of really cool isn't the same I know. thing, is it? But However, you know, with anything that I buy for myself, I like to buy quality things so that if I do decide that I don't want it anymore, I can just sell it on. Yeah. And as long as I can sell it on for more than I paid for it. I'm quite happy but I mean I've done that for years with um designer handbags I mean yeah I've still got you know eight or nine mulberry handbags upstairs that I don't use very often but if I needed to I could just sell them on yeah and they are genuine mulberry before mulberry got really 
copied. popular with, with the younger women. Mm. I used to get the the older, but they're now like vintage mulberries, so yeah, could be worth a lot of money. Well, Good I mean, enough. I have sold mulberry bags for well, oh. my my very first sale on eBay because I used to buy a lot of things, and my first sale was a mulberry handbag that I bought at um, from my friend's lodger. Yeah, and um, I'd paid twenty five pounds for it. Stuck it on eBay and we were watching the auction at the end and during the week it was kind of creeping up slowly But then on the day it was like I think it was about 80 or 90 pounds and it's like oh wow That is a really good profit and yeah. then we started watching the auction go up and up and up and up and up and it was just so It was like a horse was, race wasn't it? it? Was, it and I think was. the auction, auction closed at about 250 for that yeah, one didn't it? Yeah. So Ten times the amount that I paid for it, that's not bad. Yeah. And I used to buy a lot of, um, around about 2008 when we had the recession, I was buying up a lot of diamond jewellery. Yep. Um, and you know, when the time came that I wanted to buy a new car, instead of taking out finance for a new car, I just sold the diamonds and went out and bought it for cash. So. Yeah. Good. That's what I do. So, like I say, when I buy myself things, I try and buy things that if I decide I don't want them anymore, yep. it will. Buy good quality stuff. That is with the exception of my clothing, which I get, <laughs> which I get from well, supermarkets or second hand. And I was appalling at clothing, and I'm still not that great at clothing. But, but we're just now, not really fashion people, are no, we? No, but now I'm, Can you tell? now I'm starting to buy some clothing to sell slowly is that some one of the ones that i bought you that from is the boots that there? is yeah yeah it, next yeah yeah see next it's <laughs> you not, could never have got it next to much it's so. not f and f <laughs> <laughs> or even george or even george it's next and uh, next yeah. anyway yeah so i'm slowly creeping up <laughs> you know branded tracksuit bottoms instead of unbranded tracksuit bottoms no whatever next Anyway, I think that's it for us today, guys. Yeah, but did you look out for a belt? We were, we meet a friend for a, um, a drink on a Wednesday lunchtime every week. And he nearly had a wardrobe belt. <laughs> all the way back to the car. Did, didn't put a belt on a pair of uh, shorts I really should have. Um, so I was walking along having to hoist his shorts up for you I was. Hello, um, big bear. Anyway, so um, remember, so this is a bank holiday weekend. This is a Saturday film. Um... We would have done a little film as well, um, showing the walk around the field. Um, but there's two more coming this weekend. Um, so uh, what's so out for So if he gets this, because he's going to edit some bits and pieces, if he gets it on in time, then... I don't know when it's going on. It'll go on when it does. But if you've watched it up to this point, thank <laughs> you very much for watching. <gasps> oh, excuse me, you my head off. good sale this morning or this weekend, depending on when you're seeing it, and... Yeah, ha uh, have a good bank see holiday you tomorrow. and see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye.